Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Today we're launching a brand new series on the channel called Waterfront Properties with a Dock. That means we get to arrive by boat. Today we partner up with Hanover Yachts to bring us to this beautiful property. and not give you a full tour. This is Hanover 377, 2023. Let's check her out. Start on the swim platform like we always do? Sure. Oh, it's huge, actually. I was so quickly jumping on board. I actually I know. didn't even realize how big it is. Look how cute these are. These little bar stools, right? Oh, this is so fun. What a cool spot when you at anchor. Oh, I love it. What's here? We have an electric grill. We have a sink. Our captain is slowly, slowly coming up to the property. So it gives us a chance to show you guys this boat. So right here, looks like we have, is it reversible? Oh, you can yep. push it back. Yeah, you have a reversible backrest. You guys know I'm a huge fan of these. There's a swim ladder right there. And there is a really cool feature. I call it an anchor cherry on top. On this boat, captain, hit it. That How makes cool it super that? comfortable. This is absolutely amazing. All right, let's see what else we can find. Thank you, Captain. We can put it back. All right, let's keep going. So we have a really nice sitting area here for easily eight people. Super comfortable. For the size of the boat, it offers a lot of space. Feels very nice and beamy. We have our Captain Adriano here. Hi. <laughs> Rico, quick, quick tour of the helm. So we got two Raymarine chart plotters here, then the Mercury engine monitor right there. The boat is equipped with the joystick, so you can actually dock it with the joystick if you prefer, right? Correct, yes. But you still have your shift and throttle controls yes. if you just want to do it conventionally. Then we have our necessary switches like navigation lights, horn, etc. The helm, and that's pretty much it. Stereo, very importantly, and a cup holder. We have a really cool bow, but let's do that a little later when we're coming up to the property, and I'll show you the interior first. Sounds good. All right, so we have our companionway coming down. This is surprisingly spacious. So you have this convertible oh, wow. space that could be a bed, or also it could be a table. Check that out. It's high-low. It's very beamy. It's on very big. The bow part is super, super wide. You also have an openable window right there. Really nice windows here. It actually feels tall for this style of a yacht. So the boat is equipped with an owning generator. Here's the remote for that. Got the breaker panel right here. The boat is air conditioned, which is really nice. Fantastic. You've got a little mini galley here. Even have a little microwave, a one burner, cooktop, a fridge, a sink, little storage, everything you need. And Besides being able to sleep there, which I guess you would use for guests, you have, check it out, like it's at a least a queen, queen size, size bed. bed. <laughs> and you said it at the same time. I know, and look, and there's a whole other spot here. I mean, if you're just like, gonna go and hang out for one night somewhere, you could easily sleep five people here. Oh, for sure. Just like a total crash pad. It's amazing. And so even much this space. is very, very large. Usually when you have these connecting pieces, you cannot go on the side, but you can actually still go from the side. And you've got a head with a proper shower. Look how big that shower is. It's a full one person shower. You've got a sink, you've got a toilet. I think it's time for our waterfront property tour. Let's go forward and show you the bow while we're underway. When this is openable as well, we have a nice sunroof. Looks like we might wow. have a little rain right now in between. Hopefully that stops. Oh yeah. And welcome to our bow. Super nice layout for three. Really cute. Look at this princess chair. Please that stop is the rain. awesome. And these ones, you can put them up or put them down. Yes, very nice. All right, and this, is our waterfront property we're coming to. Ah, let's go check it out. Let's do it. Well, thank you very much. Thanks, You're Adriano. You're what a way to arrive, right? I get to wear real shoes on this tour. <laughs> so welcome aboard our very first house tour. 
Well, that's a lot of dock space. I know, it's unbelievable. You can easily put a hundred footer here. For sure, hundred percent. Hi, Hello. how are you? Good, this is Nikki. Hi, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. No, we met before. <laughs> <laughs> so I just wanted to invite you guys into this amazing house. Thanks for having us. Thank you so for tell coming. Us, tell us about the property. So the property is six bedrooms with ensuite bathrooms. There's also a half bath for entertainment. Mostly the first floor is set up for entertainment, but there's also a couple rooms where you can open up the doors to this oversized pool. So it's two stories and there's also two bonus rooms which you could convert into either a study room, a gym, an office, whatever someone wants it for. It's just feet? around 7,000 square feet. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. a big boat, I mean house. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well we're excited to check it out. Thanks for having us. Of course, and come on in you guys, enjoy I the think house. we're gonna start on the exterior if that's okay. Start on the exterior. Because we just docked and walked by a whole bunch of cool stuff. I mean, we're looking at 232 feet of water, so please enjoy the outdoors. This and is then why we're make here. your way in, exactly. We'll see you at the end. I'll just see you one end. quick question. Do you know how big the lot is? The lot itself is 0.32 acres. Wow. That's a big, that is a big lot too. Huge. Yes. Okay, let's do this. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, you guys, enjoy. Right, we'll see you later. Okay, see you later. Okay, let's do it. All right, show us the exterior. Disclaimer, this might be rocky. It's our very first one. And any pointers you guys have for us, put in the description underneath the video. All right, let's do this. And shout out to Ennis, don't judge us too hard. We didn't judge him when he started the boat tours. <laughs> no, we did. <laughs> did we? We did not. Oh, he got, he got All a lot right, better. No, he was pretty good. Okay, we're starting it on the northern part of the property. Yes. And right here we have our outdoor kitchen. So we have a sink, a drink fridge right here. We have two drawers, two burner grill, then we also have a big grill here and a little bit of storage propane space down there. There's a nice outdoor bar here, nicely connects to the kitchen window there, which we're going to see later. So hard to say kitchen. I know, I've right? trained myself to say galley for so many years. And I think we also have a drink fridge right there. I mentioned it. It was the first thing oh, I said. Oh, you did? Okay, oh, yeah. perfect. Pay attention. This staircase is going to take us all the way up to the rooftop, just to wait for that part of the tour. And then right here, we have our nice sunny layout spot, beautiful sunshine. I'll put my glasses on. Woo. We have a sitting area here, an alfresco dining area. Of course, you can set it up any way you want, but I think it's quite perfect. We have a TV up there, and we have a very large swimming pool. Resort-style swimming pool, yes. actually. With a spa and a nice little soaking. A shallow area where you can have yeah. some furniture. Yeah, what is it called? It's uh, just a shallow area in the pool. That's got to be a word for it. Sun tanning, lounge pool area. Put it in the comments, you really guys. Really cool. I like the uh, water features actually on the pool. Gives yes. it this nice ambient sound. Look at this view. And you guys see this dock is insane. Absolutely insane. So we are on the corner lot. So the entire lot is surrounded by dock space. Imagine you can have a huge yacht here and still have tons of open space which is quite incredible in this area to have that much dockage. Which actually that is unique, is normally if you have the dock space and you do have a big boat in front, you're blocking the view. Well, here you can have a big boat and still have the view. You just translated, men translated what I said. You're welcome, guys. Okay, let's go. So, it doesn't just come with a 232 foot dock, it also comes with a boat lift. Oh, fantastic. So we have a 15,000 pound boat lift. So you can have your smaller boat or your tender out. Pretty convenient to be able to have that. No need for bottom paint. People always ask us what is the benefit of the, of the lift, especially the West Coasters. Yeah. Because we're not really used to that. Well, there are a couple of benefits, yeah, actually. Yeah, go ahead, run Well, one them. is like you mentioned, no bottom paint. Another one is you're out of the water. The boat is not getting banged up by waves or wakes from other boats uh, passing by. And thirdly, if we have a really high tide or a hurricane, which pushes in a lot of water into the inner coastal waterways, and then of course also in the connecting water bodies, you're out of the water, you don't need to worry about too much. If you're wondering if there's shore power for a larger yacht here, yes, there is. Uh, right now there is a 50 and a 30 and a 20 amp outlet, which could be easily converted to 250, so you have your 100 amps. All right, that should cover all our 
boat needs. So this area is called Lake Santa Barbara. It is a really cool desired area right now. The reason we started this series is because we really want to focus on properties with the waterfront dock accessibility. We feel like that's really important for anybody who is buying a boat but doesn't want to maybe live on it or wants to live on it part-time. It's such an underserved market and we want to approach it from the perspective of the person with a boat buying a house. It's really important to talk about deep water access and just because you have a giant dock, which we've seen in some areas of Lauderdale, does not mean that you can come in with a huge boat. Not at all. It's usually restricted by bridges, which are not openable. So you have your bridge clearance, which is one of the factors, and then of course, the draft. Yes. So these are the two factors which are the most restricting. Exactly. So another thing you have to deal with when you're on the channels here is how far out you can actually stick out. So for Correct. example, this space here, just on this side, we've got 90 foot space in front of that lift. We get rid of the lift, that adds another 40 feet. So you can put a 130 foot yacht right here. You are restricted by 24 to 26 foot beam sticking out, which is quite large. You can easily have a 100 footer. It's got a six foot mean low draft, which means at the absolute lowest, that's what it is. And you can still dredge it if you wanted to make it better, make sure that everything's good here when you come in with a bigger boat, you can have it dredged out, you can have it specked out, make sure that it's good. And then on that side, we still have another 80 feet of dockage with no restriction on the beam at all because it's such a wide channel. So you could easily put like an 80 foot sunroof there. Yeah, and then people might ask us like, okay, so why do I need to buy a property to dock my boat? Well, yeah, good point. On the other hand, Southern Florida dockage is very pricey, at least at the moment. Very expensive. We compare to California, it is super expensive. Just to give you an example, for about a hundred foot yard in the main marinas in Fort Lauderdale, but you're looking at about 14, 15, 16 thousand dollars a month, which is a lot of 14, money. 14, 15 thousand dollars a month. That's going to pay some mortgage. Correct. And then you still, it comes with the bonus of the house. So if you want to rent it out or want to live in it, whatever it might be, it might actually financially make sense. Yeah. All right. I think we should check out the interior. Let's check out the interior. Let's do it. Wow. Look at these windows. Ooh. I know. It's very grand. Okay. Come on in. Look at the height of the ceilings. So we used our little measuring device and it's actually 25 feet confirmed. What is this considered, this room? This is the great room. The Welcome great to room. the great room, yes. So, so it has a fireplace. Technically it's the salon, if we were on the yacht right now. <laughs> I still cannot decide, you guys, do you want us to tour waterfront properties and use our boat lingo? Or would you rather us learn and start using all the house lingo? Put it in the comments, because we still can't decide. We have a debate going and not sure what to do. Let's keep going. Okay, so I propose, let's not look here yet. Let's just go straight Can into... Can I at least look up there? Okay, what's up there? A bridge? No, that's not a bridge. It's called the catwalk, and oh. I will show you later why. All right. Okay, we're gonna go first to our galley and family room area. Sounds good. Come on in. So first of all, here we have kind of a multi-purpose space. This is a den. There are two spaces like that. Okay. There's one right directly above it. It's set up as a game room, and I think I would add some more games. I think this is a really cool idea, right? It even has an air hockey here. Love air hockey. Uh, can Should we play, we play? later? Let's play later. Okay. All right. All right, let's keep going. So here is our family room. It's a huge TV. We have this lazy boy type couch here. It's just a great space. It is built in 2000. Yep, year so 2000. This house has a classic styling. It could be easily modernized if that's your taste, but it definitely has this classic feel and classic furnishing and everything in here. And this view, guys. So these doors open up, these doors, these doors, these doors open up. So there could be a really nice airflow coming through here. All right, let's keep going. There's so much more to see. I promise Rick, we're gonna do this fast. So we have kind of a, what's it called? Not high. Counter, oh, counter, counter height. height. Counter there you height. Go. There we go. Thank all you. Right. First of all, can we talk about this? Can I just take this home? This is so cool. Wow. I think it's aluminum. Okay. Right here, we have our 
actually full size bathroom. Oh wow. Yeah, because we have at least a two person shower right here. Mm -hmm. And then we have our toilet vanity. And right here, this is really neat. You actually have an entrance from exterior. So any kind of pool event, you're outside, you're in the outdoors, this is your day head. You can actually come in here, shower off, and then come inside all clean. Okay, let's go. Welcome to our galley, wait, kitchen. Bar. I know, I know, I, it's all the same space. So this is our bar area, what do we have here? First of all, huge amount of countertops in this whole space. Of course, again, it could be easily upgraded and changed to satisfy your taste or style if you wanted to. We have a drink fridge here, actually a wine cooler, ice maker. I promise Rick I'm not gonna open anything, so I'm gonna really, really try. Okay, so tons of storage. Tons of cupboards. I'll open one. It's really big. Got it. All stone countertops. Yes. We have a six burner cooktop, gas. We have a hood, all KitchenAid, and then we have dual ovens. Check this out. Can you open this? All right. Okay. He said yes. And we have a fridge and a freezer. Fabulous. You wait, missed, wait, 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 you wait, missed, wait. You missed. Dishwasher. All right, keep going. We have a dual sink, garbage disposal, really big sinks. Wait a minute, we've got two dishwashers. A second dishwasher. Wow. That's right. But I mean, it is a six bedroom house. So you kind of need it. You do any dinner party, you need two dishwashers. You need two dishwashers, I agree. Okay. Let's check out the other wing. Okay, the, fine, fine. Of this level. So we'll go to our other wing. I don't know which wing that is. West wing? I would have to look how we're facing actually. <laughs> I think so, okay, wait. Coming into our grand foyer here, how beautiful is this space? It's very that grand. That is pretty grand. And on this side, we have our formal dining area set for eight. It's a really nice, beautiful big table here. When I see the staircases, yes. it's so American. Like, like when growing, we grew up, it didn't it's exist. It's not a thing, like, you know, and you watch no. all these movies where like the girl's going down for the prom. Yeah, you know, it's like so true. It does not exist right? where we're from, no. not this way. So we also have a piano right here. And now we're coming into our other wing. So let's start opening some doors. This is not a bedroom. Oh. This is a really cool utility space. It's got washer and dryers in here. They've used up the space underneath the staircase really nicely. So it just has tons of usable utility space. Really makes sense. Okay. Then over here, we have the first bedroom, which was converted into an office. I would love this office. What a great editing space this would be. I agree. Right? It's amazing. And then we have a closet right here. We have an ensuite. Lights coming in. At least a two person shower. I think it's the same size like we saw the other shower yeah. um, just a second ago. I think you're right. We have a vanity here, very nice windows you can open. And this room has something really special here. Which is the only room that has it on this level is you can actually go outside so if you use it as your in-law suite you can actually set up like a cute little area here so nice it's pretty nice i right? agree and it's on the first level same level so you don't really need to use stairs but if you do want to go upstairs i have a surprise for you what do you think this is it's green which means i can open this door an elevator Whoa. Yeah, how cool is that? Ta -da! Fully wheelchair Come accessible. On. This is so cool. It's a great space, great size. And to be able to say you have an elevator in your house, come on. That was definitely a cherry on top, I think. And right here we have access to the garage. Yes, no, so this is a two car garage. There's a third garage, which has a separate entrance. Oh, that's cool. All right, coming into our official first bedroom. So technically it's the second bedroom, but that one's used as an office. Here we have a walk-in closet. Very nice. We have a king size bed, so it's a pretty big space. And also an ensuite. You know, they all seem to be very similar size. Yep. Two person shower, vanity, toilet. All right, and now let's go upstairs and check out the rest of the bedrooms. All right, we're gonna come back to this grand entrance because we want to show you guys also the front entrance. We're obviously coming from the water, which is a completely different perspective. 
which I personally think it's way cooler. Agreed. But we'll come back and obviously show you what the car entrance looks like, basically. All right, let's go up. This is very grand, and I can definitely see why this is called the catwalk. This is very much the catwalk. <laughs> Agreed. Okay, let's go first this way. Sounds good. So we have a second family room. <sighs> yeah, basically a bit of a convertible space, however you want to use it. But yeah, look at this little balcony. It's a little tiny balcony. I feel like we do got to check that out. How cute is this? It's a little Juliet balcony here. You know what this is, right? What? That's the cigar lounge right <gasps> here. Oh, yeah, actually, yeah, I guess so. So that's sort of your whiskey rom space and this is your cigar lounge? Agreed. Uh, so the humidor is missing? Yes. I see. Yeah, I wasn't sure what you were going with it, but that makes sense. Okay, should we open some things up? Oh, it's just a technical utility area. space. Yeah, technical area. So we have an elevator right here, drops us off right in this space and then we keep going. I think I'm gonna go this way and like that. What do you Perfect, think? sounds okay. good to me. So, oh shoot, it's two. Feels like there's a mirror missing in the middle here. I know, okay, come on in. So the bedrooms are carpeted. Of course, again, you guys could definitely change that if you would be interested, do a lot of different things here. We have a closet right here. The shape of this space is quite unusual, right? But it works really well for the bed, actually. Yeah, and it's, it's a queen size bed. Yes. This little nook here is interesting. That's very unusual. I don't know what you do with it. All right, and then we're coming in. Oh, it's Jack and Jill. Got it. That's why you felt like it was a mirror image. So we have dual vanity here, nice counter space. We do have a small bathtub, which of course, shower, toilet. And this is connected to another bedroom here, Jack and Jill, so it's shared. Got it. Yep, and this is a smaller bed in this space, but you could have a larger one. For sure, you could have a queen size. And then right here, we have our walk-in wardrobe. Good size. Okay. Then, keep going. We are coming into, in our hallway here, we have a day head. I mean, a powder room. <laughs> so I know that one. I know the powder room. So yeah, we have a toilet and a sink. There's no shower here. So day head, basically. And then here, we have a huge, there's a king size bed here. Yep. It's very large furniture for this space. And then right here, there's also, I think, a walk-in closet as well. Yes. Kind of Another like, huge like walk-in closet. Kind of like on the lower yeah, level. Yeah, very similar. And then right here, we have an ensuite. Easily a two, ah, three-person shower. Seems like the showers are all the same yeah. footprint. Definitely. Right, so far what we have seen. Yes. And now we're going to show you the primary stateroom. As we call it on our channel, the owner suite. All right, let's go down our catwalk. I like saying that. Yeah. Look, here you can really appreciate the height of the ceilings. It's unbelievable. The views, I mean, look at this. Yeah, it's quite amazing. I mean, it goes all the way there through this, this window. This is how I would greet my friends which are coming over. This is how you would greet your friends? Yeah. This is so wrong. No, you won't. <laughs> It's just weird. <laughs> but look at this. This is pretty cool here, yeah, I think. It's gorgeous. All right, come on. Let's go show them the goods. All right, all right, all right. The best all right, part. All right. all right. So this is a multi-purpose space, den, which is right now set up as a gym. I think that's what I would do. It's a great little space, but you also can make it into like a movie theater room or... Or second office. You don't even like office. Why do you keep want to turn yeah, everything into an I mean, office? You know, like, like... Ready? Mm-hmm. Okay. Hold on. Welcome to the owner suite. What is the square footage of this? Oh man, where's our little thing? Why didn't you bring it? This is crazy. Huge. And what's really amazing is that giant terrace that you guys really, we need to go out there to really experience. So of course, the way it's set up here, there's like a little home office and a little table here. I think I would have like a comfy chair so here to have like a coffee. I think I would actually maybe have a little... DJ booth here? No, like a settee or something maybe, oh. no? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm so shocked you didn't say DJ booth because it definitely feels like a dance deck. Come on, let's go outside. I want to show you this. Sounds good. Let's go this way. But we can just walk around, right? Yes. Look at this space. 
Oh, they do have a hammock here. Wow. It's so nice and breezy out here. Wow. It's so much space so as well. So Nikki told us this is called peanut butter stucco. Yes, it looks like someone smeared peanut butter. Totally, <laughs> it is so funny. Me, I would definitely go update this portion, right? The exterior, and it would definitely modernize the feel of this house. For sure. But hey, some people really love that classic feel. So yeah. whatever you guys like, let and us know what you think. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. Pretty spectacular. It's right? a huge pool. Okay, but that's not the best part. Let's what is go the show them the best part. Check this out. Oh, a Come rooftop. Come with me. If this wow. wasn't private enough down there, this is what it's all about. So the way this house is located, our sunrises are gonna be about right there. And on the other side from here, we have really nice sunsets. That is amazing. So this is uh, the sound downer spot, I guess. I mean, usually no problem having either or, yes. but having a property with a deck where you have both, that's unique. It's definitely all about the location, right? When it comes to the house, because opposite of a boat, you can't just take it anywhere you want. When you buy it, you're kind of stuck with whatever location you have and you better like it. It better satisfy your needs. Agreed. Let's and go. just to get a little bit idea where we are, so this is Lake Santa Barbara right here. All the way over there is the inner coastal. So you have deep water access to the ocean. That's Even if amazing. you end up dredging a little bit for yourself here to come in, you can still come in. There is a deep water access. Yes. And uh, no bridge. Okay. Back to what? Well, let's finish the... I was going to say the engine room, but there no, is no engine let's, room. Let's finish the primary. We still haven't seen the closet. We oh still haven't God, seen the bathroom. Oh my God, there is an ensuite. Yes. Wait for the ensuite. So, come on in to our ensuite. Wow. Speaking of dense deck, wow. Okay, don't show that yet. I mean, this of course, is this is huge. huge. You have dual vanity here. You can have a quadruple vanity here. There's so much space. Yes. And then on this side, we've got a jet tub. And then right here, you guys rate this. I don't know. Six person shower? At least. Yeah, I don't know. Huge rain shower huge. overhead. It's amazing. And it's completely open, which is really cool. Okay, but that's not all. Here we have our separate toilet area. That's definitely on your list. That's what you like. There would even be enough space for a bidet. Definitely. Oh yeah, you can right? do that. Mm -hmm. And then right here, we have a separate storage area. And then this is a walk-in wardrobe. Also a good size. Yeah, very nice. It needs some mirrors, I think. I would yeah. put a mirror right there. That would be important. And this. Additional closet. Oh, like a linen closet. Yeah, look at this. Oh, oh, big, really big as well. Yes. All right, let's find Nikki and check out the front of the house. So the actual entrance to the house, you mean? No, the actual <laughs> is the water entrance. Oh, okay, okay. I At got least it. for us. Oh, there you are. Hi. Perfect. Can you show us the front entrance? Absolutely. And Man, the, I guess a, the garage area. That's a lot of house. I'm oh, out of breath. It's I know. Awesome. It's a lot to cover. <laughs> it's a lot to cover. All right. It is. So this is the front of the house. A nice grand entryway with the arch window right above. And the gardener going crazy next door. And the door. gardener going crazy because maintenance, yes. maintenance is key. Because maintenance is key. Yeah, so it's, it's kind beautiful. of funny because since we're doing this backwards, yeah. we're ending with the front entrance instead of starting with the front entrance. Such yeah, boaters. this is how we do it. Such boaters. Exactly. Such, <laughs> so like three, <laughs> three, three car garage? That's right. Yeah, thank A you. three car garage. And the very cool part about this three car garage is that it does have a separate entryway from the two car garage here. And the one car garage over here you could use for a golf cart. A lot of people have golf ah, carts in the area. Makes sense. It could also be opened and if people like to work on their cars or if they want to use it as a utility room. The very interesting part as well is that they all connect. They just have two separate entryways so that that's it's really easy cool. to come and go. Hey, we like cars too. We don't discriminate. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the one car garage. So this here is the two car garage. Perfect. And you just come right into your motorized gate 
You pull right into your garage and you could either walk into the house or walk right into that third garage. So if you happen to have six cars, it looks like the driveway is plenty big. Yeah, because you have tandem parking here. So say you park one into there, you've got about two you could park here, an additional two here, and then that motorized gate will just close right up and everything's very private. You want to have six cars? Where are <laughs> yeah. you going? I think I'm sure. picking up what he's putting down. Sure. Okay. Well, thank you so much for showing yes. it to us. We really appreciate thank it. Thank you guys for coming. It's safe to say this house is perfectly set up for super yachts and cars and a lot of families so come on in next and time and this house is for sale and all the contact information for nikki will be in the description underneath the video and enjoy the outtakes and enjoy the outtakes <laughs> Ciao. okay ready uh -huh. <gasps> <Oops. Whoa>. jesus <laughs> oh my god oh good i thought it would go straight <laughs> All right, let's go. You would think you'd be used to small spaces. Yeah, okay. You guys should have seen it from my point of view. It was much funnier. Okay, ready? Yeah. So it's set up as a game, ro game room. <laughs> a game room. It's set up as a game room. 